Hi guys, Robbo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 21 on the Xbox Series X. We're going to sat some ring next and uh, I think it's time we started at the back of the grid now because we've got a huge lead in the championship. The AI are very, well, not that competitive, especially when they do lots of crashing, which is very annoying. I've officially changed my number to 90 now, so it will show up as 90 during the race. Um, so yeah, we're going to Satsum Rink. We've got seven laps to do. Extreme difficulty. So what I'm going to do, just so that I can get my eye in on the actual races, is I'm going to obviously not do free practice or qualifying. I am going to do morning warm-up, just so that, you know, I can kind of see and gauge my pace without qualifying so i may regret this for uh for this particular race because i've not done a wet race yet in moto 3 so this is going to be a bit interesting but hopefully it'll be tasty anyway that makes sense let's go and i'll see you guys when we start racing it is race time at the back of the grid when you got medium tires to use i was quickest in a morning warm-up but not by much, only 0.3 of a second, so I don't know what we're going to be able to do in this race. Well, Gavin Emmett, don't you worry, I've got li I can't lose any more positions from where we're starting. Here we go, that was a good start. That was a very good start. Okay, go careful, go careful. That is very wide, but I've got people on the inside. Oh, okay, okay. We stayed on then, I don't know how. But uh, someone went down, I did hit the bike. I don't know if I've got any damage. Didn't say we've got any damage. Gonna have to go careful, it is very slippery. I did have a crash in morning warm up. But that was mainly on the uh, the front end. Right, power mapping two already. Oh, sneak through on Salach. That was a nice little move. That's too wide. Don't want to be on those curves. Oh, bit of contact there, sorry. We're not quite in the points. We nearly are. Oh! What? What just happened there? <laughs> Jesus. Literally, 90% of the, the field just went down then. Through Satsing Curve. Come on, Milestone, sort this out. Satsum Ring in the MotoGP class in the wet on MotoGP 20 was very bad for AI crashing. Especially through the final corner, they were crashing like every lap. And if Moto3 are going to do it at Satsum Curve every lap, there's literally going to be no one left. I don't need to push. Because the two in front of me are not title contenders. I don't know how we didn't actually get caught up in that melee at uh, Satsun Curve. Because, well, you saw what happened. Literally just everyone went down. Jeremy Alcoba is getting away. I want to try and get past for second place. Tate. But it's not working at the moment. Oh no. Whoops. Okay, are these two going to get through Satsun Curve? Please do. Please. No, they're not. For God's sake. Look at them all. Just... Unbelievable. I'm going to win by default. I mean, how can you 
make your racing competitive when the AI do dumb shit like that. It's just... How, how is that even possible? The whole purpose of Anna, the, uh, the neural AI, is that it's meant to learn. So why is it not actually learning? If it's done that one lap, it should think, right, let's not do that line again. But it does it every single lap. We've seen it on multiple tracks now. Same corner every lap. So this is definitely not a true test of starting at the back of the grid. Because, not being funny, I could have probably started from bloody pit lane and still won, but... Not that you can start from pit lane. That's obviously something they need to try and bring in for maybe MotoGP 22. Pit starts. If you're doing anything naughty in uh, free practice or qualifying. There you go, that's how you go through Satsun Curve. No. Nope. More crashes. Now, do I risk... Oh, no. It's not going to go back to lap one, is it? The replay. I was going to say, do I risk trying to get a thumbnail for the, the video from that corner? And risk the replay breaking and then having to do this race all over again. I mean, that is just ridiculous what, what happens there. So, I was hoping this one was definitely going to be a challenge, but... The AI, unfortunately, have other ideas. And there's literally... There's nothing... You can't do anything about that. Oh, big slide. You can't do anything. Not unless you want to follow them down, but... We go to Assen next. They better be okay there, because Assen is a fantastic track. And I don't want them to be crashing all the time there. Gonna have track extension again, yeah. Well, you never know. We may end up with a long lap penalty before long. The AI should not be like this. Yep, yeah, they're crashing again. Exact same corner. I, I swear, I'm literally the only one who hasn't actually crashed yet. I could probably crash in... Jog the jogger lap and probably well we probably wouldn't win but <laughs> yeah it's just ridiculous that this is the kind of thing we have to put up with at the moment the A AI needs fixing like now that's one of the first things they need to fix is the AI because that's just ridiculous admittedly other classes might not be the same but Moto3, too easy, and the AI make a lot of dumb mistakes very frequently as well. And it does ruin the racing because, as you've seen, when they don't crash, they're, they're actually pretty good to race against. They don't slow down when you get near them on a straight like they did on previous games, where you could kind of exploit that. They don't sit up so much if you go underneath them now. They will try and lean on you a bit. Wait for the crashes. Oh, hang on. Did... Did Al... Oh, there's a few going down. To say Alcoba got through without crashing then. Not Alcoba. Well, Alcoba did and uh, Acosta as well in second. So a few of them made it through. Just be gentle. Be gentle on the throttle.
Unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, we are going to win here. And it's not like I didn't give the AI a chance because I did. I started at the back. But they said no. We all want to crash at the same place at the same time. Imagine if I was a little bit further, if I was in that massive group that went down, I definitely would have got caught up in that. Yeah, more going down. That was a Costa going down. Now we've got a 10 second lead. Alcoba's gone down as well. Ay, ay, ay. Well, we're on the final lap, which is good. It is what it is, unfortunately. I know this isn't going to be the most exciting of races, but I can't help that. I can't help it if the AI decide to jump off their bikes at the same corner every lap. We're going to win by over 11 seconds. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But we'll be starting at the back at Aston, so don't worry. We get another shot at it. The AI keep doing that like every like, every uh, every race. We'll have the, the title wrapped up in no time at all. Yep, there they go again. That was actually my fastest lap of the race on the final lap. Starting to fill up with the stars of this race. But Alcoba so went quicker. 32-0. So Acosta did still get second. Alcoba still got third. How many do Wow! Nine finishers! <laughs> oh, wow. Why? Just why? There we go. 99 points over Acosta. Messi has dropped down to third now. He's a further two points behind. Okay, right. I'm going to try and get a thumbnail now. And I hope that it doesn't do its weird thing that I've done at Catalonia. Good news. I got a thumbnail. And I actually went back to lap one as well. So I, I got the big crash. I got the big crash for the thumbnail. The cherry on top of an exhaust. Ah, <sighs> dear oh dear. If the team keeps working like this, it will be really difficult for his opponents to overtake it. What have I got to do to have a decent race around here? It started off so promising with Qatar. Well, we'll see what Assen is like. It better be better than that. Let's hope it's dry. Maybe the AI will be a little bit different around Satsum Ring in the dry, but in the wet, they don't like it. So. Oh, hello. Um, new manager? Nah, we'll, we'll stick with what we got for now. Technical staff. Yep, we'll go for Timothy. Sign him on. And... Nope, we'll stick with who we've got. Um, so frame is done. There's no real point in upgrading the bike anymore, is there, if we're honest? What I'll do, I'll put them in research for frame. And they can just stay there for the the rest of the season, pretty much. Just in case Milestone do put out a sneaky little update to update the uh, the AI. We may eventually need them, but at the moment we don't. 
So Asin is next. Six laps, extreme difficulty. Yeah, I don't think we actually got any bike damage at Satsum Ring, but um, yeah. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll do warm up. It is dry. That is a relief. Or is it? I don't know. Let's find out. See you guys in the race. Right. Let's see if this one's going to be better. So, hard front, hard rear. I think that's fine. See what we can do from the back. I hope the AI are better in this one. The Cathedral of Motorcycle Racing is once again ready to put everyone to the test. Okay. Try and get a good start. I was fastest in morning warm up. Okay, wheeling isn't really what I want to be doing, but uh, we've made up a few positions. Oh, excuse me. Okay, this next hairpin is going to get sketchy, I think. So many riders. And so far... So good in terms of them not crashing. I don't want to speak too soon, of course. Oh. Excuse me. Right, power mapping to I can see the leader. Oh. I think we may have issues getting stuck behind slower riders. Power mapping three. Is that going to help? No, not really. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we end lap one inside the points. Get Antonelli, sneak through. He's trying to go around the long way, but it's not going to work for him. Come on, slipstream. No, not working. This is more like it though. So far, I don't think I've seen any crashes yet. Oh! Could have. I could have gone faster then, but we. Uh, Unfortunately, I had uh, arty gas right in the way. That's me wide. Yeah, track limits warning. That's fine. Again, arty gas right in the way where I don't want him. We got him now. <laughs> we got him now. Oh, I was going to say, just kiss the green on the inside then. Right, I need to get past these guys. There's a bit of a gap emerge. Oh, that wasn't on the green. We're going to have to go careful with these track limits warnings because we may end up having to do a, uh, a long lap penalty.
Right. We're up to seventh. A gap of one second to uh, Pedro Acosta. Just try and do a nice few corners. Try and bring that gap down. So we've got three warnings on track limits at the moment. That's too wide. Trouble is I've got no one to slipstream at the moment. We are by ourselves. All right, that that got us a bit of time back. John McPhee fastest lap. We're nearly on the back of this group. Come on. Put it on power mapping three just to try and gain a bit just on this little section. Hasn't really worked, to be fair. We gained that. And we gained again. Oh, nearly lost the rear. Right, we're with them. Not going to get a cost of that. Or are we? Oh, they're all bunching up. Okay, couldn't really do what I wanted to then in the chicane because there were too many bodies around. Just on the fastest lap of the race though. So that's good. Penultimate lap time now. Come on, slipstream, please. No. Oh, mess that up. I say we haven't dropped a Costa at the moment. Oh, that was Rodrigo all over the grass. Oh, Acosta's back through. We're trying. Oh, this is like proper Moto 3 racing at the moment. Okay, McPhee just lent on me. Okay. One lap to go. We are up to third. We need to make it a good lap if we can. This is much more like it from the AI. I've actually had to try in this, uh, this race. 
Can we go two more? Oh. Come on. Thank you. Using the slipstream of Messia. It's working. It's working. Oh, I've messed that up. Oh, just too much movement. That could be it. That could be the wind gone. The front end is moving a hell of a lot now. And we can't afford to go off track anymore. There's been a crash. I don't know where. Nearly, nearly, we got second though. Oh, okay. That one mistake cost me. That one mistake. But I'll take that fastest lap of the race was second place by just a tenth of a second. That was getting tense. That was getting tense. But Messiah has moved back up to second and 96 points behind now. So he's actually uh, gained some points back on me. Five points. And now we've dropped down to second in the team championship. There might be a touch of bitterness, but this it's fine. Will earn him 20 it's that, that one mistake I made through the right-hand kink. Races. Just turned him way too late. I was too busy trying to get a slipstream and then missed my turning point. But second place, I'll take that quite happily. That was from the back of the grid as well. Whew. If the, the start-finish line had been maybe a bit further down the, the start-finish straight, I think we might have been able to get him. But um, yeah, just, just run out of time. Never mind. Well, the AI were much more competent in that race, which is good. And that was much better racing as well. So, Kimi Ring will be next. And then there's a bit of a break to the Red Bull Ring. Um... So, Moto2, a few more want me in Moto2, nothing in MotoGP, and Moto2 as well. So, we'll maybe wait a few more races and then sign for a Moto2 team. Anyway, let's go and see how the standings look. So, obviously, Moto3, I'm leading that at the moment from Messia in second. Pedro Acosta is third. Gabriel Rodrigo is still in fourth. And John McPhee has moved up to fifth now. Moto2 is Remy Gardner still leading that. He's got a nice lead over Sam Lowe's in second. Raul Fernandez is third. Fabio DiGiantonio is fourth. And Marco Bezzecchi is fifth. And then MotoGP is Fabio Quattararo leading that from Maverick Vinales in second. Joan Mir is dropped down to third. Jack Miller fourth. And Alex Rins is in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, wash your hands, and look after yourselves. See you!